Hey, what's up? JC Shades coming at you again with another Christian Ramirez, a.k.a. Superman Returns, Minnesota United Career Mode episode. I'm going to apologize right away. I lost a little bit of footage, so the ending is a little bit abrupt. So, I hope I made it work a little bit. So, we're starting this episode off against a game against Atlanta United. You know, they're always dangerous, and actually... Minnesota had a fun game against them in the U.S. Open Cup Final, which Atlanta won, but hey, they played well. What can I say? Quick screenshot of Joseph Martinez here. Yeah, he's always the one to look out for. You know, he did hold the single-season goal record until Carlos Vela absolutely won off last season, so... But he's still quite a dangerous goal threat, and... What is he, like 28 now? So, you know, unless he decides to go elsewhere, he's uh, he probably got another good five, six years in him. So, let's see here. Well, got Miles Robinson, Julian Gressel, Pity Martinez, Joseph Martinez, Ezekiel Barkle. Eh, excuse me, Barco. Uh, yeah, pretty dangerous Atlanta lineup still, so... And I'll have to look. I'm trying to remember what moves they made during the offseason. I know they let Darlington Nagby go. Anyway, let's see. You got Tremblay. Oh, hey, Box. I'll get in the start there. Along with Angel Gomes. Rodriguez in the middle. Finley out wide. Look at those wing kits. Oh, yeah. Another thing I want to mention. So, you may notice another difference in the episode. Episode 1, I had the kits from the past two seasons Minnesota United wearing. Um, yeah, that was recorded before the MLS update was released on FIFA. So, yeah. I know. It probably looks a little weird for anyone who says that. Oh. Joseph on the attack, over the pity, up, oh, pity puts it in. Like I said, they still got a pretty pretty dangerous lineup down there and got a couple good young guys coming up as well, so they're not exactly hurting too much. I mean, they had quite a turnaround. Granted, they were probably a little exhausted from playing in the CONCACAF Champions League to start the season. Anywho, going, or they go up 1-0 at the start of the half year, but yeah. But you could definitely tell a difference in the season as Rodriguez turns and puts one in here to even it up. So yeah, no, um, I don't know, there's always a complaint about, oh, you know, the Mexican League's like halfway through the season, blah, 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 they're in a lot better form than MLS teams. Well, I guess that's what happens, but hey. We'll see how things go. I know uh, LAFC lost their game. NYCFC. Granted, they conceded three, but five away goals is pretty big, man. <laughs> um, what are the other results? Was it Montreal? They ended up drawing. Seattle drew as well, which they were actually up 2-0 and then... They just looked gas the last 20 minutes of their game. Although Jordan Morris had a great opportunity to try to put them up 3-0. Needed, probably should have been a little more selfish on the play, but thought he could play Rui Diaz and I don't know. But yeah, they look pretty tired. Uh, Atlanta drew theirs. So it's going to be pretty interesting. Speaking of draws, we go ahead and draw this with Atlanta in their stadium, which... I think it would be pretty fun to see a game there sometime. It looks like a really nice stadium. Uh, the atmosphere just seems amazing there. So maybe someday. Second game of the episode going up against Colorado Rapids in the U.S. Open Cup. Although on here it's almost like another MLS Cup because, well, there's only MLS and the well, Canadian teams are in it, I think. Wow, I'll need that. I actually pay attention to that sometime. I actually don't know if the Canadian teams 
do you play him this in career mode? Oh, I really not? Anyway. So, going here. Got the home crowd behind us, so... That should help out a little bit. Got most of the starting lineup in here. Let's see. Former Minnesota United player somewhere in that Colorado lineup. A little bit of rotation. Have uh, giving Javier, or Javi, Javi Hernandez a game. James Sands in. I can't pronounce Chong's first name, so... Rodriguez at striker again. So, trying to rotate a little bit. And then, Colorado, Andre Rawls. I think he used to play for United. Sam Nicholson, the guy that I was talking about. And, oh, there's Kellen Acosta. Almost didn't see him at first, so... Nice to see that he's, or no, or did Rawls play for, oh, I don't remember. Anyway, nice to see Acosta's coming back a little bit. I don't know if he'll get any national team call-ups, but we'll see what happens. We like Ike. We like Ike. Man, Ike did a lot for us this season. Him, Ozzy, we, what, might have like another season or two out of Ozzy, and... Not much going on this game. Nil-nil at the half, so... Yeah, what can you say? Well, nothing really going on. I think we might have missed a penalty in the second half of that, so we're going to extra time all even at nil apiece. Yeah. And I usually don't show plays like this very often, but I had to include this one. Tremblay gets one save, gets two save, and then he just has to knock it out and just absolutely saves us. Molino plays it up to McGuire. Molino gets it back. Oh, oh, Molino's got an opening. Take that. Oh, look at there. Kevin Molino with the game winner. Death of extra time. Can't do that any better. He's going in the middle of the Colorado. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's win this thing this year, boys. Let's get it. <laughs> and at the end of extra time, Minnesota takes it 1-0. You know what it is. Yeah, Superman's happy. with the crowd glads so final game of the episode going up against LAFC here in the US Open Cup hey fun little bit Oh, hello, Vela. I am curious how the things would have went if uh, Vela would have been playing when Minnesota went out to L.A. to play these guys. Because, well, I mean, MNU did win 2-0 with two pretty good goals by Mason Toy. Granted, Minnesota did. Uh, they bunkered back pretty good. So, <laughs> yeah, they held them. But like I said, I wonder if it would have been different with Vela. Yeah, I mean, they did draw when they played in Minnesota, so who knows. CenturyLink Field for the final. Nice. So, did see... Ooh, Velo with a Hattie in his last match. Lovely. Um, I did see 
that Minnesota officially signed Billingsley. So that's going to be nice. Granted, they have kind of shored up their defense quite a bit. So eh, we'll see what happens. I forgot they had signed one forward. Oh, I'm going to butcher his name. It's Aaron, like, Schoenfeld or something like that. I guess he played for Columbus at one time. So, I mean, I guess the death is good. Depth, excuse me. Um, and then they did draft a forward as well. So, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, Amaria can put some away, even though, for us. And then Mason Toy come in. I mean, if the midfield can play even half decently, we should be all right. Uh, although we are a little short on the wing, so I'm a little curious about that. See what happens. So, well, get this going. Well, let's see. Yeah, Zimmerman, who well, no longer with them. Blessing in the mid, Diamande and Rossi with Vela up top. And nothing really happening again in the first half. So we're going to go in the halftime all even. Chong laying off to McGuire. McGuire founds Angel Gomez. Oh, Gomez puts it in. Nice little turnaround, my man. Gives Minnesota United the go ahead. Nice work. Nice work. Oh, what do we got here? McGuire on it. Oh, cuts back a little. McGuire looking. Oh, no. McGuire looks. Keeps it. McGuire puts it in himself. Hey, I think that breaks a duck for him. Punch that flag. Puts us up 2 0. It's looking good. Looking good. McGuire on the ball once again. He cuts it in. Lays it off to Ludd. Ludd puts it in to go up 3 0. Game. Looks like we're going to go on. Three nil, and yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna advance, dear. Oh, LAFC on the attack. Oh, they do get one late, so we can't quite complete the clean sheet. But you know what? We advance in the cup. That's all that matters. Thanks a lot, Rossi. There it is. Continuing on in the U.S. Open Cup. See so can we can do what we couldn't last season. And like I said, I apologize. I lost a little bit of footage, so this episode is going to cut off right at the end of this game footage. But until next time, thanks for coming out. This is Shade signing out.